This quite stunning looking game is a demo on itch.io of the War of the Worlds multiplayer. A demo which lets you play as both a human survivor in the Martian apocalypse, or as one of the tripod fighting machines themselves. This game has its lineage in the War of the Worlds survival game by Gelato Dev, that I did quite a few videos on right from as soon as it came out way back in 2020. That game went through many different iterations until it got shelved a couple of years later. That was until earlier this year, when Gelato Dev formed Team Green to now work on this revival of the project in multiplayer form with the tagline Tarkov but with Martians. And in just a few short months, so much progress has been made on it resulting in the release just two days ago of this demo, now available for you to play on itch.io. Impressively, this preview not only includes proper actual multiplayer, which is something that I think at least one previous version dabbled in a bit but was generally absent until now, but the innovation that you can now also play as the Martian tripods is introduced in this demo. And the developers are working very hard on this, it's already had many updates in the short amount of time it's been out, and is still continuing to be updated. So you have to keep downloading a new version, but it's a really good thing because they've already solved so many issues with it. I was actually going to make a video on it the day it released, I played it just an hour after it came out, but the initial version was so incredibly laggy for me, they couldn't really play it properly. But within 24 hours, updates came out, and now, as you can see, this game runs fine. Which is quite a testament to the fact that they're really taking feedback and working to improve this game. Which, of course, is the point of a demo. I believe they're planning for the actual game to be released on Steam when it's done. But for now, here's my initial reactions to playing as a human survivor, and then as one of the Martian tripods. Okay. So basically, we're sort of in this field, there's only one map currently, it's this countryside map that looks really good. Heading towards these blue beacons, as they're apparently points of interest. So that's where you can get food or supplies and all that. And and you can see just the tripods in the distance, it's really creepy, it's quite good. But hopefully they don't see me. There's, it's interesting, because although you can play as a tripods, and some of these tripods might be actual people that are playing as them. There's also bot tripods, so they're also wandering around the map. Luckily, I sort of dipped down into this hill, so... And uh, look, there's a bloody artillery. Huh. Looks like there's some massive battle that must have happened here. Which hopefully means the tripods have moved on from this area. But I just love the lighting of this game, like genuinely. This definitely looks the best out of all the versions of this game that I've played. Uh, even just like the houses look spectacular now. It's really quite good. Uh, look, you see, you can sort of drag things. I was just trying to test that out and see. Can I grab this hammer? I can kind of grab the drawer, but it's pretty tough. I also just love this music, man. The music in these games has just always been so fantastic, so peaceful, you know? And so what's that, an apple and a... something else, a flask. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, I've grabbed it. So you need to sort of get all these... Oh, you, you can turn the light on. That was, it. That, that was in one of the old versions too, I wasn't sure if they'd have it in this one, but... Yeah, that's in there. Okay. I don't know what the key's for. Don't know what I can do with a hammer. But I'll take it anyway. Smash someone's skull in, I guess. I don't know. If uh, anyone tries and takes my supplies. So you've got this sort of inventory menu. So you can have different supplies of different, uh, different sizes, I guess. Okay, now. Let's go oh, I've ransacked that house, let's see what's in the next one. As it seems to be getting dark. And your music is gone, so <laughs> what's that represent? I don't know. Danger? Maybe. I say, you know, fellow that lives in this house got a rather good view of that nice forest there. 
That's a massive piece of bread, Jesus. Oh, and just look at that beautiful sunset there. Yeah, they've done such a good job of this game, making it look really good, in my opinion, anyway. Whereas the original ones were always just like, tech, oh, what the hell was that? Oh, wow. That is so creepy. I want to stay hidden, but I also want to get a beautiful shot of a tripod going past the sunset. That stomping noise. That's freaky, dude. You just see the sun, the sun setting on this Martian world. It's really good. Well, hopefully I'm safe. I think I'm safe, he's gone away now. But yeah, like even just the fact of, I don't know, the lighting just looks wonderful. I don't know what they've done with it, but none of the other games had beautiful lighting like this one does, so they've done such a good job with it. Okay, well as it's night time, better just stay hidden, I guess. Ah, oh, great, there's another one. Seriously. Where is he? Okay, he seems to be gone. He's gone. He's gone. Fantastic. Okay, well, I think I'll leave now and maybe because I've just done in his house. I think it's all safe outside now. Let's go and see what this English night time has to offer, shall we? Let's go to the next point of interest. Was that? Is that the moon? Oh yeah, man, that's a bright moon. Right then. Oh jeez. Oh no no no. Oh man. Where is he? Okay, if I hide behind this hill, maybe I'll get. Oh what? No no what? What is that? What the? Oh, you have perished. Okay. Man, that, that that was a silent heat ray, like, wow. Okay, fine. Let's now play as the Martians. They killed me, now I shall become them. Also, I really love this menu, where it's sort of got these microorganisms and they sort of react with your mouse, that's quite funny. Okay, so, this time, let, let's see what playing as a Martian is like, shall we? Searching for playable tri- oh, hello. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Wow. Oh, I can see my legs. Brilliant. What was that explosion? Oh, there we go. Just figured out how to turn. This is an interesting. Oh, got my heat ray out. And that's my horn. So basically, you can s you press space, s use your horn, and like it creates a beacon to alert other tripods to come to your area, basically, or come to where you sort of tell them to, basically, which is quite good. So, like, it sends a beacon so like other player tripods can see. I can see where. He, okay, the yeah, other artillery. Okay, let's go take them out. Come on. Oh. Oof. Ha. <laughs> this uh, reminds me of uh, destroy all humans for some reason. I don't know why. Well, they're toast got them but yeah you can see like one of the beacons in the background so that's obviously where someone's like summoned said oh hey go to this area of interest man there's so many artillery where is that coming from there they are oh houses can I burn the houses no yes yes they are toast the houses are just that's so good, actually, that you can, like, 
obliterate the houses like that. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, this really, you think you can take me down to tiny little artillery? Is that bandstand there? No music today, lads. No music today. cause chaos. That's what being a Martian is all about. Oh, there's another Martian. How you doing, lad? I'm just saying hello to him. I think that one's a bot. <laughs> Let's follow him. Where's he going? There's a house I must destroy. Wait, can I get those trees as well? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Wow, those are some pretty f particle effects. It's like bloody fireworks. Man, that's nice. I should, I should love, love destroying the trees now. Gotta get those fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! Man, those are some pretty particle effects. Really nice. Okay, what are you doing there, buddy? How's it going? Oh, wow, you can see the little alien inside. Oh, that's pretty cool. I love this tripod design with the kind of bowed legs, it works really well. It's just a nice design. The way the sort of legs at the bottom sort of go in and out, it's just really good. But anyway, I think I'll leave that there. So definitely go and try us out on itch.io for War of the Worlds Multiplayer by Team Green.